on this edition of the Fifth Estate. It was a real life maritime disaster that captivated the world. This is not happening. This is not happening. A floating palace that became a shipwreck twice the size of the Titanic. I can hear people sobbing, I can hear people screaming. <laughs> people fell down, people uh, cut, uh, people destroyed, people dead. 32 passengers and crew would die. In public opinion and in court, the captain would be blamed. I think Schettino, for Italians at least, is, is an embarrassment. He embodies the worst traits of the Italian male to a, to a stereotypical degree. But now the latest in the saga of the Costa Concordia. What the ship's black box reveals really took place that night. And the rest of the story is told by the man who lived it, Captain Francesco Scatino. Your first officer, Ambrosio, and he saw you on the rocks, changed with a suitcase. No, 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 no. If you think you know what happened when the Costa Concordia went down, think again. We were <laughs> completely uh, directing the running to the road. You were heading right for it. That yes. Way. Hello, I'm Bob McEwen. Welcome to the Fifth Estate. It was almost a year ago that we first came to the island of Giglio in the Mediterranean in the aftermath of the sinking of the largest Italian ship ever built. Well, a year later, the Costa Concordia is still here, that cruise to remember, now the biggest salvage operation in human history. As for the ship's captain, who refused to stay aboard, even as 32 of his passengers and crew lost their lives, He's now fighting to save his reputation, not to mention his freedom. As you're about to see, for the Costa Concordia and Captain Francesco Scatino, both of those salvage operations are much easier said than done.